Hello, this is Jason Levine, worldwide video and audio evangelist here at Adobe Systems, and as someone who's worked in both industries over the past 15 years, I can honestly tell you that there's no question, time is money. Over the course of the next few minutes, I'll be showing you how you can save yourself an enormous amount of time and also become that much more productive by using some of the great new time-saving features in Premiere Pro CS4. Now in this clip, I'll be showing you how to rough cut dialogue faster using new speech search technology. Now typically when you think about shooting an interview and cutting dialogue, well, oftentimes you'll be using some kind of video camera where you will capture things to tape, which of course, let's say you did 10 minutes, well then you would have to capture that into your editor, into Premiere Pro. That's 10 minutes real time. And from there, you'd bring those clips into your project panel, and you'd go into the source monitor and preview them, scrub through them, set your in and out points, and only then do you begin cutting. Well, if you're working tapelessly with a tapeless camera on CS4, or using on-location CS4, you can literally take that 10 minutes and cut it down to one, simply by working with this new method that I'm going to show you now. So when you think about it, let's take a couple of the clips that we have here from on-location, and let's play a bit of this back how funny human beings really are. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Well, of course, what we want to do is we want to use speech search to actually transcribe all of the spoken words on all of these different clips. And I can do that literally in just a few clicks. I go over to the metadata panel and I click on the transcribe button. And when I do that, it's going to give us a series of options, including um, the ability to choose our language, the quality, and even identify different speakers in the clip. And when I do that, yet again, another time-saving feature of CS4, it's going to send that to to the Adobe Media Encoder. Now, many of you may be familiar with the Media Encoder from CS3. The major difference now is that the Adobe Media Encoder CS4 runs entirely in the background, once again, allowing you to do other things to continue to be productive while it's working in the background, saving you, again, more time, allowing you to be more productive. Simple, easy. So while it's transcribing, we're going to move on. We've already actually transcribed a couple of these here, so let's take a look at this clip here. And what you can actually see is that we now have a speech transcript. And all of this metadata now can be searched on inside Premiere Pro. Now, I've taken some notes when we were actually filming this interview, and I wanted to begin with a clip where he ended on the word story. So I'm going to navigate over to my project panel and type in the word story. And when I do that, it's going to sift through all of my clips and automatically find the clips where the word story was detected and transcribed. So here's the first one. That doesn't appear to be the one we want because it didn't end on the word story. Let's go to this clip. Aha, there we go. Again, if I wanted to see exactly where that appeared inside the clip itself, I can go to the metadata panel, type in the word story, and you can now see that it highlights it automatically. If I simply click and play... So the f we've made the film Double Identity. It will actually follow every spoken word as it's said. And if I click on an actual word, it will shuttle to that specific frame where those words were said, truly changing the way that you think about cutting dialogue together and doing it unbelievably quickly. Now what I want to do, because I've got the clip that I want, I know that this is the piece I need, I can go to my fresh timeline. I can actually set my in and out points like so. You can see that I've done that here. Take my clip, drag it, drop it, and we're done. Now the next piece that I wanted to use was from the second guy where he said something about casting calls. So I'm going to type in the word casting, select my clip. Here it is. Once again, if I want to see exactly where that appeared inside the clip, I can just type in the first few letters. There we go. Click on it. I can play it if I so desire, like this. Mark and Wendy, we actually just... Or I can simply set my in and out points like you see that I've done here, take my clip, drag it into the timeline, and we've now edited. We've begun cutting this together, and we've literally done it in seconds. What used to take 10, 15, 20 minutes can now take 1, 2, or 3 minutes simply by using this amazing technology speech search and processing it in the background with the Adobe Media Encoder. So my friends, that is all for this clip. My name is Jason Levine, worldwide product evangelist at Adobe Systems, healing people's pain points with power, flexibility, and incredible time-saving techniques in Premiere Pro CS4. And remember, Adobe Creative Suite 4 is your shortcut to savings.